Oh, hello, you're here. <laughs> well, <laughs> welcome to my cooking show. Today I'm going to show you how to make uh, Genovese pesto using this fantastic tool that you can use for multiple purposes. I don't really know what it is, but it chops ingredients pretty well, so let's cook. Okay, first of all, we're gonna take out some leaves. And uh, then we're gonna rinse it, and then we're gonna dry it with a cooking towel, okay? Easy. Just to be clear, today we are making real pesto, not pesto alioli that you put in sandwiches, which is not the same thing, okay? You don't need vinegar. And once your basil is fully dried, you're gonna take some garlic, you press on it, and you have the slices. Pretty easy. We're gonna pound the garlic until you have a paste. That's when we have our new friends. To make the process easier, you can help yourself Grinding the garlic first. We put it in here, close it. After a few twists, you have this wonderful garlic paste. And okay. now we do the same thing with pine nuts. Hot so bad. Once again, you take your grinder, put the basil in, some salt, and then. Once again, you crush it. Once it's creamy, you add some extra virgin olive oil. And then, to make it even more creamy, you give it a, a, a pound. Then, you want to grind some parmesan and some pecorino romano and have this, which is a mixture of both, okay? So you add it, and once again you stir it, okay? Your pesto is ready. Now you just have to cook the pasta and season it, and you're gonna feel like you're in Capri. Oh my God. Beh, posso dire comunque, ho mangiato de peggio. Our pasta is ready. Always with the same tool, we're gonna rinse it. Now we're ready to mantecare. We mantechiamo. We're not on the, on the flame because then the basil gets Come si dice amaro? Bitter, bitter. We're ready. Put it on a plate. Clean it up, always. If you want to add a sprinkle. Parmesan. 